Crypto gaming has already kicked off the next bull run with some coins posting over 100% gains already. So what's the problem? Everyone's gonna be a millionaire, get a hot girlfriend, drive a Lambo, right? No, no, no! There are hundreds of gaming tokens out there and not all of them are gonna make it. That's why today I'm gonna show you five gaming coins that are new or unreleased that have massive potential in 2024. And my number one pick is going to obliterate everyone's expectations. It's mission time. Welcome back agents. Secret Agent Stash here and we at the GIA, the Gaming Intelligence Agency, are always on the lookout for some of the best crypto enabled games, which is why I wanted to share five up and coming projects that I think are gonna do really well in 2024. Now, I hate to dangle this carrot in front of you, but my number one pick here is so under the radar that I can't believe no one is talking about it yet. All right, let's take a look at my latest Intel report here that just hit my desk so we can see exactly why it is so hard to pick a long-term winner in these oversaturated markets. Okay, according to my report, there have been over 1,500 crypto-enabled games launched since the last bull market cycle in 2021. During that same time frame, 215 games closed up shop or stopped development of their game. That's a lot of rugs. Wow. Over the last two years, the number of gaming-focused blockchains has increased significantly, going from just seven in 2021 to over 50 gaming-focused blockchains here in 2023. Who the hell is gonna research 1,500 games and 50 blockchains? Oh, wait, wait, that, that, that's, that's us. That's literally what we do. Oh, I, enough this. Now that we establish how crazy hard it can be to find a good gaming project and not have it rug pull you, Let's take a look at five of my top token picks for 2024. Kicking things off in a big way is the most popular crypto-based RPG big time. The game itself is still in early access, but they just rolled out their in-game economy about a month ago and people are quickly earning their new token called big time. Typically we see a lot of volatility in newly launched tokens. And as you can see from this current chart, big time is no exception. Right now, the coin is in price discovery mode, and while it's still at a lower price than when it launched, there's so much room for growth here. So why is this game and token gonna break out in 2024? It's because the team behind this game did not rush things. They took the necessary time to build out easy to use systems for their economy that is almost as frictionless as it gets. As we saw from my Intel report, hundreds of games tanked over the last two years, and that's because they were not building a quality project from the start. The big time token is vital to the gameplay and they make it super easy to earn in game, but purchasing it outright requires you to pay those high gas fees because the token is on Ethereum mainnet. Regardless, utility wins again and combine that great utility with a game that is actually fun to play for a mainstream gaming audience and you have a great longer term hold here with big time. All right, next up, and it's not too far behind big time's progress, is one of my absolute favorite games being developed in Web3. Shrapnel is a first-person extraction shooter being built on the Avalanche blockchain that blends elements of Escape from Tarkov and Battlefield for some explosive gameplay where you can earn their in-game token called Shrap. The Shrap token is brand new, but since Shrapnel is still in development, you can't actually play the game yet and earn that token. As you can see from the chart, the token is in a somewhat similar price discovery mode like big time, but we're seeing a bit of a different trajectory as less of the Shrap token was airdropped to holders before the token generation event. With no way to earn Shrap tokens currently, there is far less sell pressure right now. This will change once the game launches in 2024, but I can easily say that Shrapnel is a top contender to be the breakout crypto game hit. Their user-generated content plan alone would put them in that category, but they also have some of the best gameplay trailers we've seen in our niche. Also, the team is unparalleled in their game development experience and how they treat their community, which goes a long way to instilling confidence in their game. This all translates into the utility of the Shrap token where it can be earned for creating custom maps, call signs, insignias, and skins. Of course, it also powers their in-game marketplace and gives you governance rights over certain aspects of the game. Now is the time to start looking for an entry into Shrap because it will take off quickly as we enter into 2024 and the game prepares to launch. 
Now, is Shrapnel my top pick here? It's close, but the token is already moving, and we want something that can, you can jump into as early as possible, right? Keep watching to find out an absolute gem I'm talking about that could possibly outperform even Shrapnel. All right, now it's time to get into uncharted territory. <laughs> Literally, the next three picks are games that have tokens that have not released yet, but will be ripe for the picking when they do. The first project on the GIA's radar that will be launched the soonest is social metaverse game Pixels. If you loved games like RuneScape or Ultima Online, then Pixels will feel pretty damn familiar. While there are core farming mechanics in place for the game where you can already play and earn their berry token, the game is getting ready to launch their second token called, well, Pixels, of course, right? It acts like a premium currency. You can use a Pixels token for things like minting new land, speeding up build times, and unlocking new skins, crafting recipes, and pets. Built out on the Ronin network, this game has seen insane growth over the last month, reaching over 100,000 active daily users, with over 11,000 VIP members all paying for special access. Remember, this comes from the Axie ecosystem, so we know that the numbers are there as long as the earning is there. Even with the hype, we know that utility is really the key here for any new token, and Pixels certainly is not short on use case. While we don't have full details on the full supply of this new token, we do know that 100,000 Pixels will be generated daily to reward players who are the most active and helpful inside the game. In contrast to the Berry token, they want to keep a tighter leash on Pixels, so we should see some good demand for the token as long as the in-game utility holds, along with the player base. The key to this play is to keep a close watch on the interest in the game and how many pixel tokens are being used for in-game actions. If a balance between the daily reward distributions and premium currency actions in-game, aka our faucets and sinks, right, if they can't be achieved, you're just going to be sitting on a pile of pixel tokens that will never be getting to $1 per pixel like this guy. Okay, I think there is going to be demand here at least around the few months after launch, which would put it right around the Bitcoin halving in 2024. That is an explosive setup if this age has ever seen one, and that's why Pixels is on the GIA's hit list. Speaking of my hit list, did you, did you play Diablo 4 yet? It's one of the best games to drop in 2023, and millions of hours have been spent grinding it. Imagine what it'd be like if they brought back the old auction house, but it was powered by crypto-based tokens and NFTs instead. Well, that's exactly what Seraph in the Darkness is doing here. This is a new ARPG game in the early stages of development that looks and feels incredibly similar to Diablo. Early testing just started for this game and they recently had a very successful Genesis Mystery Box Mint that sold out pretty quickly. The game's been in testing in multi-chain with ETH, BNB, and now focusing on Arbitrum as they ramp up for their token generation event here in early 2024. Their native SRF token has decent utility allowing you to identify NFTs, craft equipment, and participate in governance, but I would have liked to have seen a little more reliance on the use of SRF in the game. While the initial exchange offering for this token is still a few months off, it would still be great to see a little more on the full tokenomic structure with supply, lockups, and things like VC investing disclosed there. There's been a previous airdrop for SRF2, and those will presumably be available to holders when the token launches, so that's something to consider in your play here. We don't have all the intel on this one just yet, agents, but with the amount of interest from the community, it should still be on your radar for a short-term play. Okay, I've dangled this carrot in front of you for way too long now, and it's time to deliver. This pick is so juicy and so top tier that I'm surprised that there aren't already more people talking about it at this stage, but you know the GIA always has the best intel for you, agents. My Pet Hooligan is one of my absolute favorite Web3 games who just also happens to be my top pick for up and coming game tokens you need to know about. We've been playing this with the community and it's by far one of the most polished games that is fun, multiplayer, and incorporates Web3 at the moment. But they go way beyond that. The team behind the game is AMGI Studios, which is comprised of former Disney, Pixar, and ILM creatives who are on a mission to bridge Hollywood and Web3 together. The idea behind My Pet Hooligan is not only to build a fun game, but to build an IP that can be interoperable between gaming, movies, TV, and lifestyle. I've reviewed hundreds of Web3 games over the past six years of covering this crazy niche, and I have never seen a company that understands IP better. 
and that includes Axie Infinity who received so much praise for their IP. I've gotten to know the team over the last few years, infiltrated their studios, check that video up here, and I've seen the magic behind what they're building for myself. All that starts with the My Pet Hooligan game and their NFTs which are vital elements to their new token called Carrots. That'll be launching in early 2024. My Pet Hooligan is being built out on the Polygon network and so will their Carrots token. There are a few ways to play and earn carrots that include in-game rewards, staking your NFT, community events, official tournaments, and being part of the MPH creator economy. Now on the reverse side, they provide plenty of sinks to deflate the token supply, including requiring carrots for things like buying in the marketplace, battle passes, merch, minting new NFTs, cosmetic upgrades, collectibles, and a ton more. The token isn't technically out, but people are, are still earning them right now. All you gotta do is stake your My Pet Hooligan NFTs for what they call S carrots. These will be converted to the real thing when MPH has their token generation event in early 2024. So do keep this in mind when looking at who may be dumping on you around that time. The team does note that private sale rounds and investor rounds have a minimum 24 month lockup investing schedule and that gives me a small slice of a peace of mind there. With how dedicated their community of players is, how ambitious and solid their plan is to attack this from all angles, the fact they have a full-length feature film in the works, the Amazon Prime gaming partnership, and the talent of their team, I don't see how this isn't a solid add to your portfolio of games to play and tokens to watch. While 2023 has been a killer year for gaming releases in general, I think that 2024 is going to be the year of Web3 Gaming. Shrapnel has a really great chance of catching mainstream attention, as does My Pet Hooligan, and Big Time to a slightly lesser extent, where I see Seraph as a very solid offering to Web3 natives. Well, looks like that's it for today, agents. And as always, this briefing never happened. Secret Agent Stash, over and out. Secret Agent Stash.